Hey, what's up everybody? It's been a while since I posted a chess video and I decided to brag about myself and say how good I am at chess with the with the sick game that involves sacrificing the rook. But in reality, it was a very unsound rook sacrifice. So we're going to check out this game. This is a 7 days per move daily game and you think this accuracy would be like a 5 minute game. No, it's not. But the weird thing is, is that he had a brilliant move and I had 6 great moves. But then both of us had a lot of inaccuracies, mistakes, and misses. Um, so there's a nice little comeback win here. Um, but we'll see how it is. And you'll see the awesome Rook sacrifice. So usually you play the Rui Lopez. But I decided to switch it up and play 1b3. The Nimzovich Larson attack. And um, he responds with knight to f6. And he just kind of plays passively. And I play the wrong move. Knight to c3. Usually you want to play c4 in these kinds of positions because it controls this. The point of the Nimzo Larson attack is to uh, control the center by from pieces that are not in the center. Um, so instead of like moving this pawn and controlling these like central squares, right? You move this pawn, you control this this central square, and then maybe the <clears throat> maybe move this pawn and control this central square. Okay, but anyway, I make a bad move, and now we're both totally out of prep. We just kind of ape, and I go for a double fianchetto. This isn't the best idea, um, but gets this little castle set up. He invites me to take the center, so I take it, and he starts monkeying on the king side immediately. H5. Um, so I use this to block his pawn, and he castles queen side. So now this game is going to be interesting. Opposite side castling. Here we go. I play a3 to prepare b4. And the computer didn't really like that. And then he plays rook d to g8. But I missed the chance. What I should have played was just pawn to b4 like I planned to and be prepared to push my pieces on the queen side and just get to him before he gets to me. Um, but I thought maybe I could block his pawn. He moves his knight out of the way to be able to kick my knight out with this pawn. Uh, and then, boom, striking back in the center. And he moves his, his knight out of the way of the pawn. Moving my pawn forward, trying to attack. He moves his pawn to block me, attacking his bishop. Bishop moves back. Move this pawn, and just trying to keep going. He moves the knight, but then boom! Great move! Uh, meeting the threat on the knight with the threat on the bishop. And he he uh, takes the pawn, which is a bad move. Even though this is a great move, he did... Oops, I didn't mean to hit retry. Um, even though he did, uh, he did have that move, he could just move his bishop out of the way, and then, um, like, just trade this bishop off, and then his attacking chances are way easier. But anyway... Um, trades that way. I go over here, skewering his rook. Um, then he moves his queen, and I figured I think the bishop is more important than the exchange at this point. Uh, and I was I was debating for a long time whether or not I should take this rook and just be like, okay, I'm up material. I'm just going to defend and maybe find some way to do it. But I decided to keep the bishop, and it was the, the great move. It was the only good move was to keep the bishop. The only good move was to resist the temptation of. Oh, of taking the rook, okay? This is like the the type two sacrifice the rook because you could take a rook, but then you don't. Um, so, but you'll see the actual sacrifice the rook later. Um, anyway, uh, so I move my bishop back, and he moves his queen back, and I move my queen up to try to take away some of these squares from his knight. Um, but computer didn't like that. He moves his pawn up, and now we're striking back on the queen side. Uh, takes there, and I miss the move. What I should have done was, well, the computer like capturing this pawn, but um, not, not, not me. Like Stockfish can defend these positions, but not me. I move my knight to attack his bishop. Bishop moves back out of the way, and we take his knight because his knight was really dangerous here, and my bishop wasn't doing a whole lot. And now here it is. Sacrifice the rook. You are losing a rook. But I don't care. Sacrifice the rook. Full steam ahead. All right. So my logic behind the rook sacrifice was I didn't want him playing this and having this monster attack on my king side with his rook coming in, the, the pawn moving up, the queen coming in, the bishop pointing right here, although this kind of shuts it down a little bit. Um, so... I was like, look, I got to make something happen. I'm pretty sure I'm not in a good position. Stockfish does have plus 2.68, okay? But that's Stockfish. 
humans are bad at defending, okay? It's easier to attack than defend in chess. But, like, I'm not the best defender anyway, and this guy's a good attacker. Like, he's just won some really good games on me where he just attacks me relentlessly. And I was like, I'm not going to do that, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the tables, okay? So I don't care that Stockfish says this is a bad move. I don't care! I don't care! I sacrificed the Rook, and now I can attack him. And he takes, and I take with check. Now, I was bit setting a bait, okay? Because if he blocks with the queen, knight here check picks up the queen because it reveals the bishop on that square. Um, so he sees this uh, and moves his king out of the way. I move my rook out of the way here so, uh, so I could pressure his bishop. And he takes here the brilliant move. He's Now, he is a brilliant move on me. And this, honestly, like... This definitely was like was something I thought he would play. Um, this I thought was a pretty good move by him, and I take the I take the bishop because um, might as well. And now I'm threatening some attacks on his king, um, but it did allow like I think the computer liked if I'm not mistaken taking the pawn. Oh, it, it liked that move, just trying to blockade things a little bit. I was never seeing that in a million years. This is why Stockfish is a better defender than me. Um, so I take the bishop. And he trades, trades, takes that. Now, the computer likes me taking the pawn, but I like defending the pawn because I didn't want his rooks coming in and, like, checking me and doing a bunch of weird stuff. Um, and he moves h4, and this is the game-losing mistake, okay? And he even said in chat, like, I should have taken the bishop. And yes, I agree with that. I wonder if it, like, how much the computer liked actually taking the bishop. Let's see. Analyze, analyze. do 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 Computer? What kind of depth are we on? 20? It didn't like it too much. Negative 1.53. Um, but it's at least better than... Uh, plus 5. So, it's an improvement. Um, and now, Bishop H3 is a great move because it cuts off the king. So, the knight already covers these squares. And now, the bishop cuts cu covers these squares. So, rook back here is threatening checkmate. So his only only way out of it, well, one of his ways out of it, the I guess a better way was not a good way was just doing this and trying to stall time. Um, but um, he's he finds this knight move, giving up his knight, but allowing his king to escape. We could deliver this check, a fork, picking up this rook, which I could have picked up earlier with the bishop, but I decided not to, and was a great decision. Um, now we pick it up, and now we trade rooks. And goes here, and we take this pawn, and um, he resigns because the bishop will always cover this queening square, and uh, we can have our king pick up this pawn and get a queen, and game's over. So uh, the unsound rook sacrifice paid off.